All right, uh, different intro video tonight. You guys are used to me hyping you up, but I wanted to show you something cool. I was just out um, driving around today doing the old uh, job and uh, happened to come across this guy. Figured you'd like to see these these photos because uh, I don't quite frankly see these birds uh, just running around on every street corner. And here he is just chilling. Good old bald eagle there. So there's that. A couple more photos. I'll show you a quick video. But, uh, yeah, there he is. Oh, went too far. Here we go. Pop this one up and let you guys check this out. Yeah, so anyway, um, again, good old bald eagle. Zoomed in a little bit there. He was sure checking me out, too. He's like, what are you doing, man? Back up. I'm minding my own business. Mind your own. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you guys that. Uh, let's get into it tonight. Oh, God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things Realize something needs change Cause I know you got me fucked up Let me show you what's up Cause enough is enough I'll take a face full of payment Just to make a statement Welcome back to Red Pill Rhino Uh, tonight back in the studio, which uh, I'm sure is a nice change for most of you who don't like the uh, out on the road or uh, out on the lake videos. I uh, figured I'd do a semi-important one tonight. Uh, you know, the Red Pill community, for all of its faults, is still a great place for men uh, and can be used to better men's lives. However, uh, I, I've noticed, including myself, I'm not free from guilt on this one, uh, that being in this community can um, can bring out a lot of bitterness, resentment, and hate. And that's uh, that's kind of what I wanna, kind of what I wanna <laughs> want to go over tonight. <laughs> We're off to a great start, aren't we? Um, you know, I was, I was talking to somebody the other day, and uh, I've uh, I've been dealing with the woke mob uh, because I've been very vocal about my opinions, which can sound hateful and misogynistic. Oh, he's a woman hater. That's that's what I've been getting a lot of lately. And uh, pretty much because uh, I kind of follow the uh, Stephen Crowder model of. Um, being pro-life, which means um, I support your choice for abstinence, contraception, motherhood, adoption, but I can't support the fifth, which is murder, okay? That's, uh, that's kind of my stance on it, too, and uh, I've been pretty vocal about that. Now, that opinion has gotten me a, um, you know... I don't even need to give specifics. You can already imagine it's the cliche stuff that the purple-haired ladies uh, will scream and try to force down your throat for, heaven forbid, not agreeing with their opinion. <clears throat> uh, but that stirred up quite uh, the controversy, I think, <laughs> on one of most my social media platforms, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's usually hard to get rid of even like 10 when I'm controversial. And uh, this time I counted about 317. Not bad. Not my best. I've <laughs> definitely done better than that. But here's what it comes down to. So um, I don't. I don't hate women. I I hate um, modern society and how uh, modern women behave. Uh, but in general, you know, if if the red pill guys, maybe even go as far to say the MGTOW guys, hated women. 
our content wouldn't be about women and relationships and uh, what to do and what not to do. Now, granted, it's also about helping men and uh, helping men become better men. So I get that. But a lot of red pill stuff, let's just be honest, uh, uh, is directed towards men liking women. Otherwise, uh, this wouldn't be red pill. This would be uh, LGBTQT plus eight equals squared. I, <laughs> I can't keep track of this crap. But here's the thing. Um, we already know why we're here, gentlemen. We're, we're not here because uh, we hate ladies. Maybe the purple-haired ladies, sure. Uh, but that brings me to my point. Uh, and this goes back to the conversation I had with a friend. Uh, you know, hate doesn't solve hate. It, it, it just does. You know, we can be angry, we can be bitter, we can shout from the rooftops. Some of the guys are uh, in the community a little bit more offensive than I am. I, I try to keep it tame. I know there's some guys that are really good with their word choice and they know how to skirt around all of YouTube's little censorship algorithms. I'm not as good at that, but I'm also not the most offensive on here. <laughs> Some of you probably already have an idea uh, the creators I'm talking about. There's more than one, uh, and I like those guys. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've donated to those guys, uh, and I laugh at some of the things they say, but uh, when I do it... <laughs> See, I am a member of uh, other communities outside of the Red Pill, and those communities do have um, the people we don't like, the people we do have problems with uh, in them, and, and in great numbers, I might add. So when you say something, that just immediately makes you go viral in those communities. So heaven forbid, don't have an opinion. But, but here's the thing. That's not even the point of my video. Let's just... Uh, Go on down that road. I don't want to waste too much of your time. I've been trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter. I know uh, I did a poll a couple weeks ago. You guys want the long form content, which is fine, but I've given you, oh, I don't know, 15 videos now that were like 44 minutes or longer. So um, I'll try to keep this one on the short side. Uh, give you guys a break from listening to me for an hour. Uh, but anyway, most of you guys are here because you've been through some kind of trauma, some kind of life-altering event, more than likely involving uh, a woman, right? Uh, that's a given, but you're here, and um, you know, a lot of you guys uh, have either been burned badly and uh, no more relationships for me, or maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I'll date around, but uh, no cohabitation, no marriage. You know, I've got a few of you that I, uh, that I talked to, uh, which is kind of sad, you're still in your um, your early 20s. You really haven't even experienced uh, the dating market. Now, no, I'm not telling you to go out there and uh, do what I did or do what these guys did and end up uh, broken and uh, destroyed and bitter and angry. But a lot of you guys aren't even getting, um, you know, bedroom access and you're already like, I'm out. And that's, that's kind of a bummer. Um, I, I, I get it. I know. Uh, this is why this channel's here. There's a lot of pitfalls, a lot of bad things that can happen if you pick the wrong woman. But you guys have uh, quit before the game even started, which some of you might say, well, that's great. You know, these men are uh, avoiding the, the trouble, the heartache, the uh, baby trapping, um, you know, the lost resources, all that. Uh, or worse. Uh, as you know from some of my past videos, it can be worse. Uh, I've been very open about that. Uh, you can end up in uh, jail. It'll happen. You get with the wrong woman, you get the Amber Heard treatment. That's where you go. But, gentlemen, uh, not not every woman on the planet is just an evil monster out to suck your resources and destroy your soul. Most of them, yes. I'll be the first to say it. Now, there's going to be some people that don't agree with that. And that's fine. Um... You know, people have different perspectives. Uh, us guys here, uh, we've seen a different side of that fence. Matter of fact, some people that disagree with me. Actually, I was on a phone call with a uh, pretty important individual last night. I'm not going to say names now. I might put that out there in the future. Uh, but he is a founder of a certain organization, and he doesn't agree with any of my views, but yet he kind of in some ways agrees with some of the things I say. And he's been through some of uh, the stuff you've been through. 
he just uh, took a different approach to it. He has a different uh, belief set. You know, we, he didn't just come out and say it, but I believe he's on the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to political beliefs. Uh, I don't know. First time I've talked to the guy. Uh, had a good conversation. Was on the phone for uh, like an hour and 20 minutes. And for a guy, that's yeah, that's unheard of. It's like, hey, how you doing? Good. Oh, I'm doing good too. All right. What are you doing later? You want to get some beers? Huh? Okay. All right. Catch you then. That's it. <laughs> that's how these phone calls usually go. So... But, uh, you know, we picked our, uh, each other's brains, and uh, I brought up a lot of concepts, uh, red pill concepts, and he brought up a lot of uh, counterpoints to that. I don't think that we're ever going to agree, and to be honest, uh, there were things that I didn't agree with that I could have just like, well, that's not true, and let me tell you why, but I'm just like, you know what, it, it's not even worth uh, arguing over. Uh, you, you see things a certain way, I see things a certain way. We can meet in the middle somewhere, agree to disagree, and, uh, you know, s still be cool with each other after it's over. Uh, but that that gets to part of my point. I've been going through a, a lot this week. Um, <laughs> this whole experience has uh, brought out allies and enemies and uh, people I didn't know and uh, brought people into my corner that I didn't think were there and uh, had a lot of people I thought were in my corner go. And that's that's fine. That's part of standing up for what you believe in whether or not it's popular but here's here's the problem um and this is i'm i'm alluding to all of this is getting to a point uh don't worry i won't talk in circles tonight a lot of you guys have a lot of um uh past experiences you know we can call it what it is i'll use the word baggage okay some women have baggage sometimes it comes in the form of uh alpha widow sometimes it comes in the form of uh baby daddy sometimes it comes in the form of single uh, mother with children sometimes it comes in the form of um, I don't know some mental problems or uh, prescription drug use or abuse uh, or substance abuse so yes but that doesn't mean that you guys are completely innocent or free from that as well um, the issue is how you choose to deal with it so here's the thing uh, kind of a fast track on how uh, my weekend's been going. So there's a lot of things I thought I got past, right? And it turns out that there's actually a lot of unresolved uh, stuff going on that, that I'm still working on. So it's kind of interesting. I'm doing this channel. I'm still doing my best to educate you, but yet I peeled back a few layers of the onion and I realized, uh, oh, well, there's, there's some stuff down there that I haven't uh, examined. And one of the biggest ones... I think is uh, not so much that I hold on to the red pill rage. Um, that's that's gone, you know. Uh, but there there is some there is some bitterness. There's some hate there, and I don't mean like hate like you know extreme levels. But there's like you know I, I see uh, women all over um, TikTok and Facebook and I don't know wherever else they post talking about how we have the right to kill our children if we want they're just a clump of cells blah 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 and uh no uterus no choice and it's like yeah that that brings out the dark side in me you know i see that and it just that that brought out some uh, go fuck yourself in me uh and that's that's something i realized that i've got to work on i've got to address because if I don't, it's going to consume me. Now, again, you have you have two choices. You can you can hold on to your baggage, uh, maybe never unpack it, um, or you can uh, go through your baggage. Now, this is something I learned uh, recently, and uh, it's a concept that I mean I kind of already understood, but to have it broken down in such a simple way, I think is important. It might apply to you guys, and I'm not telling you to do any really frou-frou stuff um but take this under consideration so you guys that have been through a lot of stuff and uh you know may have been burned one two three ten times i don't know um how many of you have uh, gone through each one of those events identified what was in your control what was out of your control uh and i'm not going to go therapist on you and ask you how did that make you feel but have you sat down and really evaluated that um and I, I'm going to challenge you that if you haven't, 
you're probably still dealing with it day to day whether it's under the surface or not I can tell you I'm very aware there's some stuff I still got to work on uh, but here's my advice and here's the advice that was given to me so I'm passing it on because it, uh, it it seems logical um, you get yourself a little notepad uh, I don't I don't have it here but you get yourself a little notepad and get a pen and then you go through everything everything you know everything from being uh, I don't know the first memory you can remember up until now and do it in chronological order and uh, compartmentalize all of these things identify the problem and go through this process and by the end of it the goal is that you'll be able to know which uh, pieces, which drawers, the compartments, the pages in which you write, are drawers you close and never open again because you can't go back, you can't change those circumstances, and uh, ultimately, hopefully, the goal is to free you uh, from being chained. There's there's the title uh, to break the chains from your past whether it be trauma or you know a bad experience maybe um, something in the family maybe a, a past relationship whatever it is you you write that down you figure out what was in your control what wasn't uh, what problems that may have caused for you how that may have changed your perspective and honestly at the end of the day if it's worth even hanging on to uh, and more than likely uh, chances are if it's out of your control and it's in the past you can't go back and do anything about it then that's one of those drawers you you close and you know I'm a very visual person so for me it's like you'd get those notes that you wrote down on that paper and you'd have a big uh, big set of boxes and you'd put the notes in each drawer and lock some of them you know um, that's just the way I think I'm like, I need a big wall of drawers though I need need the whole wall it's full of little little drawers it's big enough to fit a piece of paper in and uh, maybe I'd get to the bottom of my mess but the point is is guys um, if you don't resolve some of the past stuff that's bothering you it will control and own you if you're not owning it and you're not deciding what part of it to let go of and move on from uh, there's a good chance that it is controlling and consuming you and that's uh, it's not really a good place to be because you're going to carry stuff that no longer serves you. And quite frankly, it didn't serve you back then either. But it certainly doesn't serve you now. You're going to carry that into future endeavors, whether it be uh, work or friendships or relationships, whatever you uh, whatever you might experience. You're going to drag that with you, you know, because you didn't put it in the drawer, you didn't lock it up, and you didn't say, "Look, that's in the past. I can't deal with that." time to move on um, but I, I do see a lot of you guys you've been burned and you're angry and bitter some of you yes very very hateful like I said I'm not free from guilt on that um, but but how is that helping you today and and hear me out because you know I relate to, to you through my experience so I carry um, I don't know, and, and a lot of guys just say as they get older, uh, they go from, uh, uh, <laughs> there's memes you see where they they start off, I think the latest one I saw is, you start off like Patrick Star, Spongebob, and, and he's just the dumb one, uh, and then you turn into uh, Spongebob as you get a little bit older and you're hopeful, uh, you're not as dumb, but you're hopeful, and then eventually you turn into Squidward and you just, you hate everybody and you're an asshole. <laughs> Well, I mean, that that's either just how it is. I've met plenty of old men that just are. But I, I, I got to challenge that a little bit. Could it be that a lot of those men that are in that state of mind never compartmentalized their problems and never moved on from them? Therefore, they carry the weight of everything that happened in their lives that was shitty. And now they're at a point where they've got a lifetime worth of this mess that they never dealt with. And... It comes off as uh, as hate. Now that all said, I'm far from perfect. I deal with that stuff, and I noticed as I've gotten older, you know, I have far less patience. And and in some way, that's a good thing. You know, I'm not going to just say it's all bad. There's a little bit of wisdom that goes into it. Uh, there's a little bit of assertiveness that goes into it. But it's when it affects you on a level to where 
and again, I'm relating to you through my experience, so uh, I'm giving you how I feel on certain days, where it affects you, where you start seeing the whole world as just this negative, nasty place full of uh, shitty people. All right. When you get to that point, you may have gone too far. Now, you know, again, age, wisdom, all that good stuff. So you're more assertive with the boss. You know how to ask for raise and uh, already have another job lined up in case he, case he says no. So you can just say, all right, well, here's the thing. There are going to be repercussions for you and your actions. Uh, I'm saying no, which, by the way, gentlemen, very important to learn how to say, uh, especially as you get older, you're going to learn that uh, no is more powerful than anything. Um, relationships, friendships, uh, co-workers, employers, maybe you're self-employed, uh, even your customers. Learning to say no is going to save you a lot of time, trouble, and headaches. Uh, but when you get to the point beyond assertive, beyond conventional wisdom, when you get to the point where you're just like, yeah, all these people are just, yeah, yeah and, and, and this is an extreme, but just as an example, all these people are just out to get me, every single one of them, my boss, uh, my, my my old lady, all of them, you know, when you start thinking like that, sure, uh, you have a, a heightened sense of awareness, but you walk around all day thinking the worst is going to happen at all times, and uh, you're never free of stress. As a matter of fact, you are a walking ball of stress. Now, when I talk about uh, becoming better men, I talk about uh, working on uh, working on your your fitness, working on your uh, finances, working on your hobbies, working on your friendships, right? Um, and a lot of other men parrot the same thing in the red pill community. But you know what a lot of, a lot of guys are not saying is uh, to work on your, your mental health. And I'm by no means, again, going to pull the therapist crap on you and talk about how did they make you feel. It doesn't need to be all that. If you want to go to a therapist, uh, you need to find one that's... <laughs> I mean this. You got to find one that's red pill. You're not. You're not going to jive well with some uh, progressive, uh, left-leaning. You know, rainbows and butterflies. Uh, you know, take your money and tell you what you want to hear. Crap. You need somebody that's, you know, been around the block a few times. An older guy uh, that's not going to put up with your 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 BS excuses and is going to get to the bottom of your problem. Um. Actually, there's there's a guy I don't shout out much. Uh, he's he's not cheap, but uh, Aaron Clary, Aaron Clary, I think as I talk, and then I'm like, ah, good lord, there it goes. I slurred that word. <laughs> it's not this. This is pretty much full. Uh, so <laughs> when I'm doing these videos, my mind just wanders. I'm like, and I watch. I'm like, dude, can you enunciate? Anyway, Aaron Clary. Okay. Um, if you go to assholeconsulting.com, I like his little spiel on the how it works. Go go over there and look at the how it works section. I think he charges, I, I don't want to quote, but I think I read the other day, I you know, I, I could pull it up. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to guess. I think he said $350 an hour, but to, in the description it says, if I, if I solve your problem in 10 minutes, that's all we're talking. You're going to move on, problem solved, and you're not going to waste my time. My time is very valuable, and we're done. <laughs> you know, uh, he, he's, uh, I, I like the guy. I really do. I've, uh, I've read a few of his books. Um, the book on numbers, return and treat, re, ah, return on investment with women. It's a good book. Uh, he's got some other ones out there. Can't remember the titles, but he's got a few books out there. Um, you know, and, and well, I can't talk and my desk is just uh, having some weird haunted stuff going on in here. Things are just falling over. So there you go. Anyway, um, you know, you may not go the Aaron Clary route and, you know, have your problem solved in 10 minutes and then be told to move on. He's a good, he's a good dude. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to his channel and uh, checked out assholeconsulting.com, go over there and give it a look and uh, at least watch his content because he says a lot of good things. But you know what? I, I, I don't see... And uh, trying to keep this video on the shorter side, but I don't see a lot of men um, talking about mental health in this community. And that goes back to compartmentalization. Uh, you know, if you're carrying around all of this bitterness and all this baggage and all this, uh, you know, this is nasty stuff, um, you can't be happy. You know, I see, uh, I see guys, um, maybe naive and 
whatever. Um, I envy them because they uh, they're in their fifties, sixties, whatever. And they they're still acting like kids. They're 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 giddy. They're happy. They're they're bubbly. They're friendly. They you know always have a smile on their face. <laughs> they're they're usually those chubby guys. I wonder if there's some secret behind that. You know, we all talk about physical fitness, and if you want a relationship, you're going to have to get in the gym. But these guys, uh, <laughs> they're always happy. They're always plump, rotund, um, but they always have a smile. And usually they're married with kids. So I <laughs> I, I don't know. I think, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to go and screw around with conventional logic on fitness, but. Uh, but there's there's some kind of secret those guys uh, maybe it's the bratwurst I don't know but they've got something that um, you know uh, a lot of us could learn and that's they're 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 happy to be here they're happy to be alive uh, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about there's a few of them I've met over the years I had one that was a, a boss at one point and you know you couldn't get the guy upset you, you could get him firm with you but he'd never get mad yeah I, <laughs> Lord knows I uh, I tried. <laughs> failed but I tried it was more that uh, uh, that that <laughs> how do you put it I'm not mad I'm just disappointed yeah he was that guy <laughs> but uh yeah you know he, he had a he had a wife kids it seemed happy as could be and I I don't know I wasn't in his personal life I didn't you know see him in his house although I did know some guys uh, you know over the years that I've worked for or with and we'd go hang out afterwards and yeah some of them are just happy-go-lucky all the time even at home you know and no problems but whatever I'm waffling I'm carrying on um, I, I do think it's important to yes physical fitness yes finances yes career are all important but if you're not dealing with your past if you're not dealing with your traumas and yes it's okay to say you have trauma it's not feminine to say you've been through uh, rake to the coals or drug to the mud it's okay it's all right we all have uh, every single one of us here, all of the content creators you're watching, all the people you see in the comments section, they've all been through hell. And quite frankly, I wouldn't want to be taking advice from somebody who never experienced the shitty end of the stick because they don't have the knowledge to get past it, move on, and improve. Right? Now, that that brings up my final point of the day. I told you guys I wasn't going circ gonna go in circles. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of this, uh, talking to you guys through a, a mic and a, or excuse me, headphones and a mic, talking to uh, a lens instead of a human being. Uh, the last point I wanna bring up is, um, and this one's hard for me. So you guys know the point of my channel. I've screwed up quite a bit. I've been pretty public, as public as I can be about that now. Uh, I've made some pretty stupid decisions and it's wound wound up costing me quite a bit but there was another topic I uh, was talking to with a friend who we're not really agreeing on much right now uh, I'm I'm quite frankly I'm angry with ah, there's something I need to compartmentalize uh, I am I'm, I'm pretty um, pretty irked with uh, some of his actions and his choices and uh, choosing uh, certain things over other certain things I'm, I'm not going to get into it, it doesn't matter not important here but one thing he said that I do have to take uh, into consideration is I want to help the young men here to not make mistakes, however I remember being your age, and I don't know who my target audience is yet, YouTube hasn't even released that to me yet so I don't know if you're watching this and you're, you're 20 or you're 50 or even if you're a man, I don't know, maybe there's women watching this more than the men. Who knows? I know there's some ladies watching, actually. Um, Janet, shout out to you. I saw you in the comments section. I don't think I replied, uh, but I do want to give a shout out to you. Uh, I know there's an Alyssa here. Um, I don't know. I don't want to just start rambling off, you know, Sarah, Jessica, Michelle, they're all here too. I don't know, but I, I have seen some of you and I am aware and I appreciate you being here. Uh, anyway, uh, waffling again, good Lord, I'm good at that. Or uh, as Pop says, going out off in the weeds. Um, when I was your age, <laughs> when I was your age, get off my lawn. Yeah, not quite there yet. Hopefully never get there. Uh, a lot of my friends say I'm going to be that guy, but part of the point of this video I don't want to be that guy uh, that's that's not the direction you want to go I mean the Clint Eastwood um, 
Gran Torino film. Yeah, he's a badass. And uh, get off my lawn. <laughs> but <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather not be that guy that nobody wants to be around because I'm such a dick to be around. Anyway, when I was uh, in my 20s, I didn't have guys like, um, you know, I'll name some that you guys don't like. Some of you guys don't like Fresh and Fit. Some of you guys don't like Donovan Sharp. And you know what? I don't care that you don't like them because they're helping men. Do they say and do some things that you might not agree with and I might not even agree with? Sure, sometimes. But they're at least trying to help young men and men their age and older men. Sure. So you guys don't have to like them, but at least they're there. When I was going through uh, my 20s, this didn't exist. I mean, maybe PUA guys existed. Um, Rolo was somewhere uh, blogging, right? Uh, so suave forums or whatever. I think that's what, what his deal is. I've never actually checked out the forums. I just looked at the books and uh, followed him on, uh, you know, YouTube. I, I, I'm not a forum guy, you know. Spend hours just reading and reading and reading it. You can have it if you like it. Anyway, he was out there with the other guys, but it was still, you know, buried on some obscure website somewhere. And if you didn't know, you didn't know. Um, but, you know, if I had a Terrence Pop, if I had a Rolo Tomasi, if I had a Donovan Sharp, if I had an Aaron Clary or a Richard Cooper or a, a, a Red Pill Rhino or a Better Bachelor or a... Taylor the Fiend or an Undead Chronic, the War Band. If I had those guys, I'd like to think I wouldn't have made some of the mistakes I've made. Mistakes I've made. But then again, and this is where I'm I'm struggling uh, with how I'm going to handle this channel because I remember being being 20, and if I hadn't experienced the crap I went through, I, I couldn't talk to you guys. I couldn't uh, I couldn't bring you any content. I know this video just went. Uh, oh well, I guess this is long form anyway. If I didn't go through the crap that I went through, I wouldn't be able to help you guys. And granted, there's some stuff that I went through that I wish I hadn't gone through. I wish I would have uh, left before it got to that point, or I wish I would have taken a different course of action. But again, I can't change those things. Compartmentalize, uh, compartmentalization. Uh, I trying to figure out if I was going to use just compartmentalize or yeah anyway um yeah I can't I can't I can't go back I can't but um I also wouldn't have learned anything I wouldn't have the experience I wouldn't know you know some of these guys in the red pill um they've never been through the crap I've been through um they you know I I've I know some of them have been through divorce or they've been cheated on uh, but here I am, uh, you know, I, I had the Amber Heard treatment without the Johnny Depp money and, uh, it sucks, but you learn real quick. And I hope that none of you go through that. Uh, that's, that's awful. It's not fun. Uh, I don't advise it. Zero out of 10. Would not recommend that ride. I don't care if you're tall enough to ride it. Just avoid it at all costs. But, um, I guess my point is, is, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to reach you guys, the younger audience, yeah, I'm looking right at you. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Some of you guys are uh, already pretty much MGTOW as it is. You're not dating. You've gone monk mode, and uh, you've never even been with a woman. So that's a choice. I, I still think you should kind of get out there, have some fun, screw around, but I do understand in the current dating marketplace, a lot of women aren't even paying attention to you unless, you know, you've got six figures, uh, a Maserati, and, um, you know, you're you're – six point six uh what is it they want six eight now <laughs> okay uh good luck uh, may as well just date chewbacca at that point but here's the thing i'm not sure how to help the average 20 year old guy because i was the average 20 year old guy well okay i'm not tooting my own horn here guys but i i didn't have a problem getting into a relationship ever I mean, uh, yeah, it's not one of my prouder moments, but I don't remember all the women over the years. I, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember until one of my friends brings it up. I'm like, oh, yeah, that one. I don't know. 
Um, so I definitely wasn't one of the guys that, uh, you know, was, you know, alone, isolated, and wasn't getting any play. I was definitely um, living it up. But, again, that cost me. I, God, I wish I could count. Um, I don't know. I have no clue. Um, I'm not going to say it's in triple digits or anything stupid like that, but uh, I... Uh, yeah. I, I got around. I was a bit of a, you know, a man who were, um, but that said, I don't know how to reach you guys to prevent you from making mistakes. Not because I don't remember, but because even though men like us exist now to reach out to you, and hopefully you are finding our content, I don't know that you guys, if I were you listening to me, would have listened to me. Yep. Hear me out. You're listening. You're here. You're taking in the content and you're liking subscribing all that which by the way if you haven't like subscribe hit the bell notification consider donating paypal.me backslash red pill rhino yada yada you already know how that goes please do and if you haven't donated uh, and you'd like to talk about something you'd like me to bring something up an article a video uh, some tiktok reaction you want me to do just drop a dollar five dollars i don't care and uh, I'll cover your uh, topic. You can re you can remain anonymous, uh, but your support definitely helps, and that way you're contributing to the channel. Okay. Anyway, to wrap this up, I don't know that you guys will listen because I don't know if I would have listened, right? And that's the bottom line. I'm still struggling to figure out how to reach you, but that's the other problem. If you don't experience something, and Unfortunately, it's kind of a catch-22. If you don't experience the pain and the trauma of getting burned, hopefully not severely, but, you know, maybe just put your finger on the stove for a second, have a bad relationship. Okay, if you don't experience that, how are you going to have anything to compare it to? This is, again, a conversation I had with a friend. Um, I'm pretty irritated with him right now, but that's besides the point. But he, he brought up some valid points. Uh, if you've never put your finger on the stove, how do you know it's going to burn you. And then how do you know not to touch the freaking stove? Because I can tell you, hey, gentlemen, don't date these 304s. And what are you going to do? Date some 304s and find out the hard way. Fuck around and find out, right? I can't stop you from doing that. I wish I could. I wish I could just like cram my experiences and my trauma and my pain in your head for like 10 minutes at <laughs> the tops and uh, say, hey, how'd that feel? Did it feel good? I'm sure it sucked. Do you want that to be permanent? Because if so, ignore me and uh, go do everything I did and all these other guys did. I, I wish I could do that. I wish, wish that. wish it was that easy, but it's not. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep giving you guys content. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to um, educate and entertain and be the fuck what I'm, I know I can be, the best I can. But, um, I don't know. It's a struggle. How am I going to reach the dick thinking 18 to 30 year old, 18 to 35 in some cases, 18 to death in rare and unfortunate circumstances? But how do I how do I reach you? You know, it's that's a real challenge. Anyway, um, I don't know. I'm not trying to leave you stumped. Good lord, I record. And uh, the world outside goes nuts. Anyway, I think it's about time to wrap it up there. <laughs> you can hear that. Even if I try to mute it in, in post-production, it's not going to happen. Anyway, uh, I'm not trying to leave you stumped any more than I'm stumped. And I'm not trying to tell you that I'm stumped here. I, again, uh, I'll reemphasize um, the mental health, the getting the journal out, the doing the compartmentalization. There was advice given to me started that process uh, I think it's beneficial um, but that's that's something you can do uh, so that you're not carrying that crap with you everywhere you go the rest of your life which sucks why would you want to do that I mean yeah no she burned me I'll never do that again okay great but why carry the uh, the pain with you the rest of your life why carry that uh, I'll tell you I've done it it's not fun and uh, you know <laughs> You work on your fitness, your finances. Um, you go get yourself a penis pump. <laughs> I 
All right. I, I threw that out there just to fuck with you guys. But if you do everything uh, to make a woman happy in 2022, uh, you're six figures, you're Maserati, you're six foot because you, you broke your femurs and did the um, elective surgery to have your uh, femurs extended. You do all that and then you're still a shitty person because you, uh, you have a lot of trauma from past relationships. Even if you find the hottie that is feminine and fertile and fit and uh, friendly and I forget. Um, Blake added another one just the other day and I hated him for a moment. Did I just get this this part down? And then you want to add another one? I'd have to go look at the video. But uh, but yes, she's all these things. And then you're just kind of a douchebag to be around. And she's like, eh, well, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll take my chances with uh, uh, Chad and Tyrone again. You blew it because you did everything. You worked on your finances, your fitness, all that stuff, and you failed to work on your mental health. You failed to over overcome your bullshit. Ask me how I know. If you don't resolve it, uh, you're not going to be a pleasant person to be around. Not even yourself. You're going to look in the mirror and be like, ah, this cocksucker got to deal with him again today. So that's that's my advice for the night. Um, again, yeah, I'm a little stumped on how I'm going to help uh, the dick-thinking youth of America. But most of those guys aren't getting laid right now anyway. I'm not saying that to be mean. Uh, the women just, they don't want anything to do with the uh, the younger men now. They want everything I just listed. Um, so, on that note, you can't control that. So that's something to compartmentalize. You can't control what women want or think or do. But you can work on your own mental health and get past all your crap. So, that's it. Uh, video went longer than I uh, wanted it to. Who would have thought? Gee, Red Pill Rhino keeping his videos under 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know why I even bother. I feel like I'm just lying to you guys. Yeah, it's going to be a short one today. An hour later. <laughs> anyway, that's it. No more waffling. Uh, I hope you guys take this to heart. Go get yourself a little book. A little, um, just go to Walgreens. Get yourself a little, I don't know, notebook. And uh, a pen. Maybe a pencil. Get a pencil so you can erase and and uh, write over where you screwed up and you need to add something else. So use a pencil. Or one of those erasable ink, you know, pens. I... I haven't seen one of those in a while, but they're out there. But your choice. Um, and uh, that's that's uh, that's your homework assignment. Um, especially if you, like me, have uh, carried around decades worth of bullshit, and you're kind of sick of being a kawanta, and uh, you want to you want to start over, have a fresh start in your life. It's not too late because you're in control. You make that decision. You can either sit here and suck. Or improve. It's not just your abs, your six pack, your, your biceps, all that. That's great. But let's get this stuff uh, fixed too. All right. Anyway, guys, that's uh, that's my time. I already went on way too long, as usual. Surprise. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Until next time. And maybe not in the studio. Who knows? Uh, but uh, Red Pill Rhino, signing out. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credit Ability, convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours it takes to get some power don't be f***ing sour take a cold shower scream until you're louder work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters they're just your downers i swear to god they all let me down i always fought just to wear the crown i'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns who were all taught they deserve it now it's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown.